So this stitch is very much like Milanese stitch. So if you haven't seen that video, um, pop over and check that out now. Um, I found this one a little bit more complicated than the Milanese, so you might want to have a go at the Milanese first. It's the same, sort of based on the same um, stitch, which is these triangles that kind of form an arrow shape, but this one interlocks and this one doesn't. So that's the difference between the two. It's also got quite a large repeating pattern on it, so you may not want to use this on really small areas it's one for a bit of a bigger bigger area so i'm going to start by putting in the equivalent of this blue row here so this part is the same in fact both rows are the same that they go alternate um directions but it's what happens in the middle that's different so i'm going to start just by putting a, a row in and i'm going to start with the, the long stitch so it's based around a five by five square just checking um and it's there all the stitches go across the diagonal so i'm just going to go diagonally across all these holes one, two, three, four, five. That's my long stitch. Now, each row goes in a, the opposite direction to the previous row. So if you look at this one, these arrows are going down and these ones are going up. So we're going to do the same here. These are going up, so these arrows are going to go down. So my next stitch is going to be across four holes. One, two, three, four. And this is across three. So they work in other the opposite direction to the previous row we just don't interlock these there's going to be this gap between so i'm just going to stop there and go back the other way so that's got four stitches in it so now we repeat that triangle up in this direction so i'm going to start with the two now so that's across two holes and then go straight up with this where i bring these stitches out one two three and add one hole on each time straight up from that previous one. One, two, three, four. And this five should match up, does, with the previous row. One, two, three, four, five. So there's one more triangle. So I'm just going to keep putting those triangles in. And then we'll come back and fill in in between. But you can see the pattern that it's leaving in between each one. Now the way that these fit together is um, the long stitch, the long five by five hole stitch, sorry, meets up with the long stitch going the other direction. So all the way across here, you'll have this long stitch. On the Milanese, the short one meets the long one. On the Oriental, the long one meets the long one. So that means each row sort of sits on the points of the previous row, which leaves you this gap, which we'll fill in afterwards. So that's the difference between the two stitches. And if you're having trouble where to start the next row, I'll get to the end and I'll just show you that again. So there's the long stitch of each triangle. I think if you think of that and use that as your reference, you'll find it easier to know where to start. That's always a difficult bit with these needle point stitches is where do I start the next row. Just compensating here so so if I wanted to put another row of green in go down to where you can get a hole stitch in. Come off the point of one of these and count your five across. One, two, three, four, five and now your triangles are going the other way, so this would be your four. And this would be your three. And you finish with your two, just about run out of thread there. So you can work all of your green rows first if you like, and that leaves the gap. Or you can work this as at as long as you um, as you go along, which is what I did for this one. But you can clearly see the gap that you have to fill in now. So I'm going to fill in with another colour so you can see what it looks like. Now these stitches, you have to just pay attention to which way they go. So these ones go upwards, these ones go across. So it's just three holes, one, two, three, it's just going to fill in the gap but each row goes a different direction, which is where this gets a bit trickier than the Milanese. And I think, in fact, if you put all the green ones in first, it's a bit easier. 
and then the next row they go three stitches vertically up three stitches horizontal three stitches vertical but I think if you do all your triangles first then the white ones should be self-explanatory so I can just go in now and fill those in and you get quite a different pattern if you use a different colour you can see that quite strong pattern come out there actually I'm not going to put that one in there pop that down here and finish off this one it does go in quickly when you get the hang of it but you do have to just pay attention so you're counting and where you start the next triangle but just go from the corner of the longest stitch of, the, of that triangle count out five from there and you should find that they all fit just fine just want to work I can find another thread another bit in the green just to show you what it looks like if you do it in the same colour so I'm going to fill in with what would be the white actually I'll finish that section off there I'm compensating because I'm at the edge of my pattern so I'm going that way so it would be like that so these this area is the white area so the last row went horizontally so now they go vertically and I'm going to do them in the same colour and you can see the pattern that you get so I'm doing the same thing so these ones are going three stitches vertically they just alternate each row and once you've started the pattern you can see what's happening so it's a little bit easier and put these ones in although I haven't done all my green triangles but just want to show you the pattern so now if I put my next triangles in because I think that's a little bit easier to do those first four stitches that completes the triangle then you start the next triangle one two three four five and then you'll notice the the long stitch of this triangle meets the long stitch of that triangle so all the way across they should make a big long line of stitches and then you can see my shape in between there thread there so I'll just bring that out of the way and then I can go in you can see the shape here that I have to fill in you can fill in either with a different colour or the same colour and it gives you a, a different pattern and if you get the long piece going you can see the sort of nice gentle wave in it so that's oriental stitch <laughs>